Daredevil with Charlie Cox. Season 1, Episode 2, Cut Ban. Three storylines during the same episode. What you have in this is pretty much almost three episodes of a half-hour television show squished into one. You've got Foggy and Karen having a night out of the town and her struggle with dealing with the crimes that she suffered in episode one. You've got a young Matt Murdock evolving to his blindness and more understanding into why he hates criminals so much. And then you've got Matt Murdock getting the piss kicked out of them as Daredevil and a closer look at who he's fighting, which are Russians and they're evil. Evil Mafia members, I find, make excellent villains in this because they are real. They're not weirdos who can control the weather for no apparent reason. They're not psychos running around with weird cold guns and start freezing people because they're psychos. They are true characters. They're trying to survive like you are. They just like to have a more lavish lifestyle. And in this episode, the thing that I like the most, the thing that I have to say has now cemented the fact that I am probably going to watch the entirety of the rest of this series, is the fact that they said something important about morals. Daredevil is interrogating somebody, and he says, What's the point? You kill me, there'll be another. So long as there are buyers, we're going to sell. This is an incredible truth. Now, I can tell you, I spent four years of my life working in Los Angeles with the homeless population. And working with that population, I can tell you that things would be different if there wasn't such a great demand for prostitution. Things would be different if there wasn't such a great demand for drugs. And things would be different if we were all decent human beings. But look, okay, thousands of women, if not hundreds of thousands, in America are living as prostitutes under forced labor, generally being exported from Russia. So Daredevil is something a reversal of that. And I'm very close to that idea. I understand that. It sickens me. And I know if there weren't the Johns, there wouldn't be people conning these women into coming here as prostitutes. Now, likewise, I know that because I worked in Los Angeles, there are a lot of gangs, and those gangs make their money through selling drugs. Drugs are not really mentioned in the episode, but drugs and prostitution are very close. Now, just understand here that if people stopped buying drugs, gangs wouldn't have a reason to fight anymore. Because if people aren't buying drugs, gangs don't need territory, because what they do in that territory is drugs. Selling drugs, marketing drugs, and of course, occasionally testing their product. So yeah, this episode really spoke to me. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it more than the first episode and probably the last four episodes I've watched of The Flash. So Daredevil, Episode 2, Season 1, Cut Man. Two thumbs up for moral strength.